the sun on Saturday morning, peeking through the blinds, peeking through the blinds, and the snow on the window pane, and on the sleeping pine, on the sleeping pine. Cool. Yeah, we're sitting in rainy Sugar Camp, Wisconsin right now on our porch, on the porch of the house we grew up in. And um, yeah, I'm Ross Thorn. I'm Garrett. And um, yeah, tonight we're doing the, uh, the Evening with the Thorn Brothers concert theater show in Eagle River. And um, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. Yeah, we we're both coming out with some music this year. I had music come out this year. Um, Garrett's got an album coming out this year, too. Um, and so we just wanted to share it with our community that we grew up in, and um, yeah, it's. Uh, I feel like it's kind of a rare thing that both of us we are putting out music at the same time, and it was uh, kind of the perfect meeting point to plan something like this. We've never done something like this before, where it's like a big theater show in our hometown, so. Hopefully it goes well. Yeah. But it is the perfect uh, situation for it. Mm hmm So, tell yeah. me about your songs, Ross. <laughs> well, even other, one more thing about the show, too, is that we're, oh. we're um, part of the ticket sales will, it goes to the music department at the school, North and Pines, where we're having it. Because um, we think that's really important to have. We, mm -hmm. we, ha we benefited from music programs and music lessons and arts here in the Northwoods, and so we think it's really important to keep that rolling for youth today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It, it just helps to have something to show up to, and when you're having a lot of fun as a kid, it's fun to jam and play music, and when you're having a hard day as a kid, it's good to have something to come home to and play and sing or just get that expression out. So, yeah, art is always a good thing. <laughs> yeah, so song, I mean, so speaking of just being in Sugar Camp, Wisconsin, in the Northwoods, um, this, this song, Gravedigger's Son, um, I wrote about Sugar Camp and wrote it for our dad, Joe, um, because he's a gravedigger, and um, it's just what happens when you own excavating equipment in a small town, you just kind of de facto become a gravedigger, and... He would always say, um, like, thorn excavating and grave digging were the last to let you down. <laughs> and so in, in the chorus, it says something, you know, like, uh, in that old logging town where our hearts can still be found, I thought I would be the last to lay you down. And that's a little reference to that. <laughs> he also worked the excavators, and we did the shovels at the bottom yeah. of the graves. <laughs> yeah. So we had to do the hard work, and he got to do the easy work from the bucket and kind of boss us around. Drinking an ice cold Diet Pepsi while we're down there leveling on a 90 <laughs> degree day next to bodies buried Or, or a really cold day too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, whatever, he was sheltered from <laughs> yeah, the he outside was fine. stuff. But yeah, it's, it's just an old, old sounding song. There's some talking, singing stuff kind of inspired by, you know, Johnny Cash. Yeah, and some, Dad's favorite. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. Old stuff and so... Yeah, that's that's Gravedigger's son. Yeah, we recorded it in in Nashville, and I got to sing harmonies on it too, which is kind of a has a sweet spot for me. I remember the first time you showed it to me, I was like, "What is this song?" <laughs> and it like choked me up because it was like, the, yeah, I felt like it was just like very close to, like your source mm -hmm. of like all of the stuff that make you you. Mm -hmm. For sure, <laughs> Joe. Joe's coming. The grave digger. Mm -hmm. Rattling his truck. <laughs> oh boy.
walking town where my heart could still be found well i thought i would be the last to lay it down oh but you did up and run you found yourself a better one someone finer than this poor grave digger son Well, I'm not a handsome man. I can always lend a hand, be it mine or some poor soul's underland. But you threw it all away, and I didn't have a heart to stay. So one dreary winter's night, I drove away. From that old logging town Where my heart can still be found Well, I thought I would be the last To lay it down Oh, but you did up and run You found yourself a better one Someone finer than this poor grave digger son. Well, I've been known to let things rest. I surely did my best to let the ghost of you leave my mind. It became too hard to say. I was haunted night and day. Couldn't shake off the dust, leave it all behind. In that old logging town Where my heart can still be found Well, I thought I would be the last To lay it down Oh, but you did up and run You found yourself a better one Someone finer and this poor grave digger son Well, I roam from place to place Everywhere I saw your face I was reminded Of the good times Way back when But I finally came to A place where I Well, I couldn't remember you I picked up my shovel Started digging again In that old logging town Where my heart can still be found Well, I thought I would be the last To lay it down Oh, but you did up and run You found yourself a better one Someone finer in this poor grave digger son someone finer 
than this poor grave digger's son. Thank you. So many of y'all know that I, uh, Joe Dig, did dig graves, and then we would dig them with him. Um, of course, we were down in the ground, and he was in the excavator with an ice cold Diet Pepsi. Um, so some of us are doing a little bit more labor than others. Um, and some of you also might know that we would sing uh, at funerals at St. Cunegunda Church. Um, and so here's one of those tunes. And to help me do it, I'd like to invite up Garrett Thorne, the other th of the Thorne brothers. Check. Yeah, all right. Hey. It's Garrett. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God discloses And He walks with me and He talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known he speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet the birds hush their singing and the melody that he gave to me is ringing and he, he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known It's called In the Garden. I didn't write it. I think Lion's Den is probably a good one to talk about. This is a song that I wrote in, uh, it's the oldest song on my record. My record's called Hugo, um, which is a family name as well. Um, but we'll, so that's the oldest song on the record. I think I wrote it in like 2018 or something. And yeah, I, I, I wrote it thinking about like, the whole record itself is about identity, and this is about some identity as well. Just like, who am I in this modern America? I wrote it in uh, with the wake of the 2016 election and how I thought I identified as a human and as an American. And it's, you know, like you start looking at some things going on and you're like, man, I thought I was in, with these people and I, they're definitely not in the same headspace that I'm at with this, you know, in mm -hmm. different, different ways of... There was lots of vitriol and lots of hatred sort of spewed um, 
that I was just like, man, I can't, I can't vibe with that, and I need to, I need to say something about that. So that's sort of what Lion's Den's about. I, it's got some influences, some there's some biblical influences in there. There's some. Uh, I was reading uh, one of my favorite authors, Herman Hesse, is quoted in there as well with some lines and. So yeah, I think uh, it's a, I, I love that song and it's a it's a really heartfelt and really, really deep and emotional song for me. So I like that one. Yeah. And, and you do a strip down too, mm -hmm. which is cool. Uh, this next song I'm going to do with uh, my friend back on bass named Clark Singleton. Give it up for Clark. We'll do more band introductions here. But it's be a nice little. Isn't he handsome, folks? Wow. Do you take me for a fool If I'm not ready to leave who I am, it's who I've always leaned on. Better part of me. I was lost and then found. Then I done got lost again. Now I'm clawing at the walls, and it goes down the halls with this damn dark lion. Sorry if I can't relate Why don't they see What you've done For the least of my brothers You have done for me Boy, they preach a loving word As they're sharpening their swords now they're calling for a wall And I'm running down the halls Amidst these rumors of war It's okay, I can wait Cause I know these things take time Though it's running out, I have no doubt We can get it all in line Body forest turn to ash In the mountains to sand there ain't nothing that is harder to change Than the mind of a man You done real good at knowing God But my God, you still don't know what's good And if you close your doors On refugees and whores I don't think that you ever could Thank you very much. Yeah, we're then we're gonna head to the the auditorium, get everything set up, get all the the ticket areas set up, get the merch area set up, get the sound set up. So there's tons of stuff that we're doing today, and then finally this evening for our performances. Of I'll do my original set and with a couple covers and mixed in there too, and. Um, and then we'll take a little intermission and people can, you know, visit merch, go to the restroom, maybe talk to us a little bit too. I'll be out there and then uh, Garrett will take the stage with his band. So. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Are you excited? Yeah. 
It's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. I'm pumped. It's gonna be cool. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to just like playing like original music for our home. Mm -hmm. It was so South of Somewhere is a song I wrote um, about um, not feeling like I'm enough ever, and um, the, you know You're imposter enough. syndromes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, imposter syndromes real, and it, it, it's exacerbated by being in grad school for sure. <laughs> Uh, when I wrote that, and I was attending this conference about, um, I think I actually spoke about this on my last, my last fe feature-focused artist, um, was, uh, is about North as a societal construct, and it's not real. You know, like, North, it, the fact that North is up on a map doesn't matter. Like, that's just a convention that we're all, like, that's supposed to be the way, and nobody says that, that that's true. Is it because of the magnetic poles? Do they just pick... That's where it is. Well, I mean, there's there, those are things, but just the fact that when you look at a map and north is up, like, that's arbitrary. Oh, yeah. Like, north doesn't have to be up. It could north be south. And, yeah, right, yeah. Right. East, west, whatever. It doesn't even have to adhere to any of the four cardinal directions. Um, but, uh, you know, so I wrote that song, and um, just a little story about, you know, someone who's also not measuring up, and just lots of little hints at, at that, and then... Coming back to that musicality part, well, the, I can't really write bridges that well in some, like, I, they're not my favorite thing to write, and this one kind of, like, turned into, like, a, a story just all with music, and it's, it's like, not verse chords, not chorus chords, it's its own chords in the bridge, uh, and it's kind of this unique part of the story, which is really cool. Um, but then at the end, there's this part where the whole time I hit a minor chord for this most, most of this like refrain of I'm always south of somewhere it's like a minor chord a major chord a major chord um, and then in the very end though it's a it's major chord major chord major chord um, but you can't really tell unless you're like listening for it specifically and then but the point is is the, then the last line is like I'm always south of somewhere but that's all right with me mm -hmm. and so this hint this optimism has been found in this this like sense of calm and, and okayness has been found in recognizing that, so then the musicality sort of yeah, that's cool. Does that too? Then, like people, that's like a subtlety too that you feel it a lot. You might not even mm -hmm. know it until you start di dissecting it. Yeah. So yeah, so that's south the summer. Just want to be loved. Just want to be loved for the day I die. Just want to lament, pay my rent, and curl up and cry. Oh, God knows I can't do this on my own. Just carry me down, just carry me down to the riverside. Let mothers rise, I'll be baptized, I'll be born alive. Oh, I'll change, but I know I'll stay the same. There ain't a thing. They can make me worthy anyways Well, Carolina seems mighty fine But it's far too far away from here And I know I'm falling Just short of calling Myself a better man this year Well, I'm always south of somewhere Telling me why you ain't the one Then you met a man and up and ran out to Charleston And now I see it Wasn't you, it was me And I believe I'm not the man I thought I'd be Well, Carolina seems mighty fine But it's far too far away from here I know I'm falling, just sure to call it myself a better man this year. Well, I'm always south of somewhere.
here And I know I'm falling Just sure to call it Myself a better man this year Well, I'm always south of somewhere It don't matter where I am Well, I'm always south of somewhere And I do the best I can If I take a look and think That I ain't where I ought to be Well, I'm always south of somewhere That's all right with me Folks, thank you so much I'm Ross Thorne We're gonna take a short intermission And then Gary will get back up here So, thank you Uh, the song that I'm opening the show with on my set today is uh, called Revolutionary Man. And uh, I w it was 2020 and I was living in Nashville. And um, yeah, at that point in time, uh, we were under like kind of like a martial law type of situation where like military was kind of in the streets and things were getting, uh, and like choppers were flying overhead and living in a city at that time was very crazy. And I was just thinking of how nuts all of the similar things, like I felt dangerous and it felt like not very uh, safe to be around. And uh, people were kind of demanding for change, but they were doing it in like such an angry way that I was, I felt like it was creating the same splash um, through the universe that where they were trying to fight against. There was like, like violence tends to sing its own song and like just keep spreading because in like the biblical reference, it's like an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. People just like end up striking back a lot of the times. And so this, uh, the song is about, it, there's a mantra in it that's like, I need to change to stay the same. And it's just like referencing like how changing and evolving as a human is just really the only way to change anything in the world around us. And I, I dig this song a bit because like the chord progression underneath the lyric is never the same and the melody is never the same throughout the song. It is always changing along with the lyric of the song, uh, kind of referencing that too, which I think is kind of a fun uh, like little Easter egg about it. Mm -hmm. Brandon Barnes and Clark Singleton, everybody, make some noise. Change. 
talk about uh, Lucy first that's uh, one of my favorites off of this album and it's uh, yeah named after it's a it was written for my wife uh, her family called her uh, Lucy growing up and her m middle name is Lucia so it was kind of a Lucia she's very Italian and uh, yeah they uh, th her family would call her Lucy and uh, we lost her parents in an accident uh, a couple years ago so um, when I, I wanted to kind of make something that was uh, just kind of forever in stone with uh, her name so that that way no matter what at any point in time something would be uh, documented and like recorded so to re reference with my voice mm -hmm. she has a lot of recordings of her dad her dad was a musician too of uh, his voice through the years and it was really sweet like at that time like when we lost them that they would have something to listen to their voice with mm -hmm. hear hear him how you remember him sounding and that type of thing mm -hmm. so yeah I wrote it um, Lucia means light and uh, I wrote it with uh, just like that in mind to try to uh, make it feel like a, like an afternoon or like a light coming through a window in an afternoon type of song. Nice. Do you know the song? Mm-hmm. I think it comes through. Cool. Yeah, here's Lucy.
Life is but a dream And I can't sleep Open my mind, close my eyes And walk with me Another tune of mine that is one of my favorites on this is a, a duet I have with a dear friend of mine, uh, Tori Allen, and she came all the way up, she's coming up, I came all the way up to perform this song and to uh, get it documented and everything, but it's called Revive, and um, in, again, like around that time that I wrote Revolutionary Man, uh, in 2020, uh, there was a bombing in Nashville on Christmas Day. And uh, people, I woke up to a bunch of texts that was like, are you okay? Was everybody safe? <laughs> it was pretty madness down there. What a year. Yeah. And so um, then I, I believe it was like the next day or maybe the day after, but uh, Tori and I had a, a write together. And both of us were just like kind of stressed about the fact that a bomb went off in our city. And it was a guy who was sitting in a, a car by himself and blasting a message out to clear the area because it's not safe to be there. And then he 
uh, was in a camper and just blew it up on the street and uh, tried to do a bunch of damage to some buildings there in the city. And we were both kind of just like, what is happening? And felt like that the we needed a, re a revival of some type to where people can actually like connect with each other again. And as we were in the middle of that right, there was um, uh, an, an, a copycat imposter bombing. Um, and it, we got like notifications that on the local news channel that there was another big camper out like a few miles outside of town that was blasting the same message as that other bombing. And so we made like an exit strategy and we're planning to get out of the city. And then um, we, we'd written already like one line or two lines, I think. And I, we were like, okay, let's write this another time. Like you go here, I'm going to go home, get Carson and the dogs and let's meet. If this thing goes off, like we're going to leave Nashville and like meet at a hotel somewhere. It's like, it felt like the Joker was in town from like mm. Batman, <laughs> like just bad things were happening one after another. Um, and it ended up being like a, a kid who was like a 19 year old kid who was uh, just uh, doing the copycat and he didn't end up having a bomb in there, but which was not very funny. It was supposed to be a joke on his end, but um, we got back together the next day and then we wrote that song in like 25 minutes, uh, like start to end. And it has like a lot of elements of like jazz and Americana, and it kind of reminds me of like an acoustic, like Pink Floyd type of thing, um, almost like a Dream State um, type of song. But yeah, that was one of the older ones on uh, this project. On yeah, my album's called Apollo. It's coming out um, after the God of Light, and uh, yeah, it was just uh, it was very interesting how it worked out. And yeah, Tori's voice is just so amazing, and she's just like such a talent too. So it was fun getting to record with her. Yeah. And now we're gonna invite up a dear, dear friend of mine, and uh, many of you know her, and you, go, you guys are, you either love her or you're going to love her. Uh, make some noise for Tori Allen, come on. Woo! What's up, T-Fiddle? We're gonna do a, uh, or go ahead, yeah, say hi. Hi, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trained by you guys up here. My friends up here, give it up for all the friends up here, come on. These are some of the most beautiful people that walk the planet, and um, I know everyone up here feels very connected, and that was a day where you felt completely disconnected, and that's weird for us. So this was a song to bring back the connection, and um, a place where music could revive the soul. So. It's a cold word. 
only things they know me. The river, those are the crowd your voice means. I don't know how long you've been traveling, my friends. We turn to blue away. They're just the only things they know me. And those are the crowd your voice means. I don't know how long you've been traveling, my friends. We turn to blue away. You know, so you know, we'd been planning this show for a while, and but another th another cool thing that happened this year, earlier in um, July, on July eighth, um, well, even earlier than that, I guess I applied for a grant, uh, the Palomino grant through Trampled by Turtles and Homegrown, out of Duluth, and um, you know, you just I didn't really expect too much. There's tons of artists, there's tons of great artists in the Twin Ports that across like uh, so many different genres and. Um, so I, but I applied for this grant and I won it back in May is what I, when I heard the word from Dave from Trampled and um, so then I had had, uh, at that point too, I'd already had a uh, album release show on the books too and that was going to be the big show which turned into more of the practice run for Bayfront performing um, and opening for Jenny Lewis and Trampled by Turtles as a part of that grant, mm -hmm. um, which was just wild. There's thousands of people there. And so, you know, we'd had this show on the books, we'd had the, the release show on the books too, and those were like, oh yeah, this seems like a really good and big summer, like we're doing big things, and then bigger things, you know, more big things continued to happen, <laughs> um, which is just so wild, and you're like, okay, yeah, all the big things are happening, and it was, it was amazing. The day was perfect, the weather was perfect, the people were awesome performing up there with my friends and 
uh, it's it's just so humbling. And even with this experience too, just to have your friends come to help you make your music and to to share it, and like they you know they give a damn about mm -hmm. it. You know, it's just it's awesome. Mm -hmm.
much. This has been a real pleasure. You guys are the best. We love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. or whatever you could do that yeah. that's like a that's like a normal thing yeah oh oh that. gotcha right yeah. uh -huh. cool like dr lake yeah turn them off turn them on yeah that should be a fine thing let's do that yeah that's a good call you here hi y'all <laughs> there's a uh, there's chips in those snack bins just get so you it's snack it. box y'all don't y'all up here right i y'all yeah which is hilarious what? Yeah, dude. You can't eat here after five. Cool.